We are about to begin a journey beyond ordinary human understanding, lost somewhere between immensity and eternity. Join me as we explore our amazing debt. We are all made of star stuff, and in America, we are all born more than $61,000 in debt. The collective debt we owe as a country now stands at $20 trillion, a level of debt unfathomable to our contemptible caveman ancestors. How can we comprehend the sheer magnitude of our national debt with our starship of imagination? This is the USS Dumb It Down for me, and it costs $12 billion to construct, all financed through debt. We didn't have the money to build it, and we didn't want to raise taxes to pay for it, but we really wanted it. So like a physical wormhole, we've used debt to puncture the reality of financial constraints, connecting what we want now to promises of paying even more money later. Let's take a look inside and see what $20 trillion really means. $20 trillion isn't just a lot of money, it's all of the money, and then some. If we could round up all of the U.S. currency in existence, every dollar bill, every quarter, every penny, we'd still need another $18 trillion. All the gold that's ever been mined couldn't even cover half of our debt. Yet our story doesn't end here. Like our ever-expanding universe, our debt is constantly growing larger. This year, we'll pay more than $250 billion on interest payments. Not the debt, just the fee for borrowing money. Much as cosmic expansion will inevitably lead to the heat death of our own universe, the debt, too, is unsustainable. As nature seeks balance, so too will our creditors. Will the government gut spending, defund entitlements, devalue our currency? One day, perhaps in our lifetime, we will discover the answers and reach the limit of our amazing debt. But for now, we can only behold the awesome force that binds all Americans, bewitching us with the fascinating possibility that maybe, just maybe, we're all fucked.